welcome to my channel my name is Yeti and today I will be doing a video on how to catfish like a pro so this is what I would do if I were going out or if I wanted to take pictures for Instagram it's gonna be pretty much full medium to full coverage so if you're interested in how I got to this from this keep on watching first step would be moisturizer whatever you use as a moisturizer i use this sunscreen at the moment this is my favorite sunscreen i went to japan and i kind of got a few um so yeah that would be my first step my second step would be you know let that set and then moving on to foundation so the foundation i use at the moment i've been using pretty much every time i do my makeup is the estee lauder devil wear foundation and the color i use is two and two and buff and because i do have acne i've been using my fingers to place it make sure your hands are clean obviously um and then i do blend it at the end with a, a brush but because um i don't like using a brush directly on my skin right away i just feel like i don't want to transfer too much bacteria around my skin with a brush um but i basically just use my hands to you know do this it also picks up less product so that's cool because this foundation i think it went up in price as you can see since i'm using my fingers it's pretty much looking full coverage already and although this is a full coverage makeup it is gonna be acne friendly well not friendly because all of our skin is different but in the sense that it won't make your acne look worse once i've blended the foundation into my skin as much as i could with my hands then i use my brush to kind of just make sure that everything is evenly blended now that the foundation is you know blended and nicely placed then i'm going to move on to my bronzer or contour whatever um, and the one product i've been using right now is the contour one from charlotte tilbury um, I did buy another product that I'll be trying out, but I'm saving that for another video. Um, I kind of just place it above, kind of like the line of where my ear, top of my ear is, right above that. Does that make sense? And then I use a brush to blend it out. And then I just start blending. I always blend up. I move on to the blush. So for blush... I have a few. Recently, I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury um, blush, but I think I used it in my last video, so this video I will use a different blush that I really do enjoy, and it's really dirty for some reason, but it's the uh, Patrick Ta She's That Girl blush, and it's a really pretty pink, and it's bright, so I feel like in pictures or like going out, it's really pretty because you can actually see it. Um, and it just brings that nice, you know, nice blush out as compared to this. This is very shiny and you can build it up, um, but it all depends on what you're going for. If you want sparkle, then this. If you want more of a just pretty pink, you know, Instagram baddie kind of look, then probably this would be better. Or something like this. It doesn't have to be this product, obviously. I'm just showing my technique of how I place it myself. And with a... It's all pref preference, but I will be going in with a brush this time. And I'm just going to kind of do that. And this is, if I remember correctly, I haven't used this blush in a while. It is very pigmented. So I always take some off behind my hand and then I will place it. There are different techniques for blush. This is a technique I've been using recently. Next step after the blush let's do the concealer so the concealer i've been using is the uh hourglass concealer and i really do oh, it's dirty as well at first i liked it then i was like weary i saw people talking about how it creases and all that stuff but honestly you just have to place it correctly i know some people don't want extra steps but um if you just add a little bit of moisturizer under your eyes and you're not like putting any kind of active like tretinoin or whatever under your eyes and you should be fine um i always just add moisturizer here just in my morning routine before my um sunscreen and then this sunscreen has like a a nice finish it's not drying 
that helps as well. Anyway, you just have to, you know, prime, like prep for it and then it will look nice in my opinion. And it's very full coverage, which is nice for your under eye. I kind of just place some there. I do like to place some here around my nose. And then here, dot. Just like to brighten. And my color is in oat. I do want to buy one that's a shade lighter because I like to have, you know, a different shade. But for now, because they are pricey, I'm keeping that. Brush I want to use to blend out is just an angled brush. This is from House Labs, but honestly, any like pretty dense angled brush will do. You get, that just looks beautiful to me all preference of course and obviously if you have like eye bags which i do um surprisingly today they don't look too bad but when i'm like super sleep deprived they look very angry and then i always add an extra layer at the end like uh, after this but i'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes and then come back and add another layer i want it to fully dry before i add just a couple dots you know after letting my concealer sit for a second, I go in with a little bit more. I just like the extra coverage it gives. And this concealer layers nicely, but I don't add more than that, just that's it. Then I go in and blend. And here too. Next, I'm letting that sit. I get that brush I used earlier for the blush and then I kind of just press right on top. And I feel like this just blends everything together because there's leftover product here, but I don't want to add more. At least not yet. Once I see how everything pulls together, then I might add more, but I like to take it slow with, bl with blush. Next, my favorite palette. Well, one, why is this? Why is everything so dirty? One of my favorite products to use when I'm doing a full coverage glam, um, full out glam, is the Shade and Light palette. I've talked about it in other videos as well. But it's just perfect for adding contour and just like sculpting my face. Um, I want to make sure my eyes are set. I'm going to use my um, this powder first before I move on to the shade and light palette. So this is the... Um, how, this is... Uh, what did I forget the name? Huda Beauty in Pound Cake. And I'm just going to use that on my eyelids. A fluffy brush. Then I'm going to use the shade and light palette and I'm going to use this color here to add some dimension to my lid. I'm going to use this fluffy brush again. Pick up a good amount and then just place it in here. Once I've done that, um, I'm going to grab a different brush and then I want to add like a lighter powder to the inner corner to bring brightness to my eye. And with this, I will just grab a smaller brush, make sure it's clean. And I'm just gonna pick up a lighter powder and I wanna just bring it in all the way to like this crease that you have in your eye and up. And I'm gonna pack it on. And now I will finish my brows. For brows, I use my old trusty uh, Anastasia Ebony Brow Powder Duo. And it looks a little nasty, but that is what I use. Sometimes I bleach my eyebrows a little bit because they're a little too dark. And I haven't done that, so right now they're gonna look probably a little bit intense. See, that's like super easy. Um, so, my next step is adding my eyeliner. So, my favorite out, like eyeliner at the moment is this one that I got from a store in the mall here. And then I went to Japan and I found it again. And I regret not getting more than one. But I feel like if it sits there for too long, it's going to dry out. So, I guess it's not too bad. Uh, and I kind of just... Oh, I wing it every time. Okay. 
and then with just the inner corner I will add oh I forgot to blend this out I will add the thinnest line now I'm moving on to the powder for my face I will be using my black poof and I first start with my Huda Beauty powder and I grab a good amount and then I tap it behind my hand and then I go in with the powder and this powder is my favorite powder. I have this one and then I have a mini version of the Cherry Blossom. If you have any other things you'd like to see from me and the other looks, let me know. I will do my best to try and make it happen. This year has been so hard for me to like make videos. I don't know why I get discouraged so easily, but hopefully this time, you know, I just keep my hobby going. Oh my gosh, sorry. And I want to add some to like the rest of my face. Just to make sure that everything's pretty smooth and not tacky. And now I'm going to go in with the Shein Lip Palette. Which kind of feel like brings everything together. As well as adding more blush because as I feel that it's kind of gone away. For the bronzer part, I will be using this fluffy brush from It Cosmetics. It's old so I don't know the name of it. And I will be placing it kind of where I placed that bronzer contour stuff earlier. It's a contour one, but I feel like it doesn't look that, um, what do you call it? What's the word? That cool toned, which is why I want to say it's a bronzer, but it's this contour one, so. Next is adding these two powders. Dip in there with both, and then I just place it over my eye. And I use that same powder under here I think that looks nice and then I obviously blend it a little bit so it doesn't look so of much of a line with that same actually with the smaller brush I'm gonna be going in with the powder side of the um Patrick Ta have some out it is pretty pigmented as well so I add it everywhere that makes sense <laughs> that way it like looks cohesive and nice and I do like to add it on my nose because that's just my makeup I like to do that but after that I'm gonna grab this same powder I used to blend out the liquid product and kind of just slightly blend here and if I feel that my face, if the pillow blush is a little crazy, I just, a little bit more powder on top will kind of even it out. The product I recently got in Japan my last trip, it was the Milk Touch. Um, this is a glitter, you know, little thing. And I've been using it, I think it's so pretty. that I think it looks so nice and if I didn't already have powder on my lid I would add it on top but I've noticed that it doesn't set the nicest when you already have powder so a different palette in that glitter you know area will look nice and I have one but I just don't have it with me so I won't be using it and next up is uh, lashes so I bought these lashes that are extension kit and I've been wanting to try so this is the perfect time and I try not to be influenced by TikTok but I was influenced this time. Comes with a lash bond, a lash seal, lash remover. And I've tried these lashes before. Not these exact, but I've tried the Lashify. I forgot what the brand is. Kiss. Um, and I didn't like it, but I'm going to try it again. And then it comes with all these and these tweezers. I think before I get to my eyes, I want to add my lips first. And I'll be using my trusty trio um, that I've been using forever. Well, these two I've been using forever now, but I recently added the YSL. Um, I can't tell what it's called because I bought it again in Japan because I lost it in Japan. But it's nice. That might have been too much. I don't overline my top lip as much. And then I go in with medium. And this is my Your Lip A Better Color. Everybody's is different. Then my favorite step is adding the gloss. Obviously, you don't need to buy this. 
because it's just extra and it's expensive. But I do like the liners. These are my favorite. And let's go in with the lashes. For the lashes, I will be adding the Lash Bond first. Hopefully you can see. I have two 14s. And honestly, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I think that looks so nice and natural. And that is it. This is how I would catfish like a pro. This is what I would use to take pictures if I was taking pictures for Instagram. Um, and I hope you liked it. Honestly, I think it came out really nice. I haven't done my makeup this like glammed up in a while. Hopefully everything looks nicely blended online. I always feel like I forget to blend something. Like it took me forever to realize I hadn't blended my nails out, but um, this is it. I hope you enjoyed it. My lashes look a little bit different. I think honestly adding another layer would look nice, but I don't want to waste them. I want to get used to doing it. I might add some like longer ones towards the end to bring more like that cat eye effect to add to my eyeliner. But for the moment, this will work because it's pretty natural and pretty. Um, but if I wanted more drama, I would just like add another layer. Exactly what I did just all over on, again on top of this. Um, but this is it. Let me know if you do have... Hold on. Let me know if you do have any questions as to products I recommend or anything like that. I'm open to any video ideas that you have. Please let me know. It helps me so much. But I will be back again. I plan to start posting twice a week again like I used to when I first started. I was doing so well when I first started, you know, it was a fun hobby. But then I slept off in the last year, so I plan to do it again. Anyways, thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe to see more of me. Um, and yeah, that is it. See you soon. Bye.